Hello and welcome. Hope you're all well. We're going on a caravan in holiday. Um, packing the car up, all the heavy stuff in the boot, and we're setting off in the morning. We're going to Sutton on Sea Caravan and Motor Home Club site on the east coast, next door to Mablethorpe. So next time I'll see you, we'll be approaching the site. And last night I noticed I'd hit 2,000 subscribers, so a huge thank you to everybody who subscribed, and a huge thank you to all who watch my small YouTube channel. We're on the A52, and we're going to be turning left onto Crabtree Lane. There's Sutton on Sea. Please turn left in 200 yards into Crabtree Lane. Turn left. Right. Caravan site's down here, on the left somewhere. Four hundred yards, three hundred and fifty. In 300 yards, you will have reached your destination. Does it get a bit narrow here? Yeah, it's a bit narrower down here. Twenty-eight degrees at the moment. Nice and refreshed you in have here. Reached your destination. Yeah, the caravan site's on the left here. You can see them. Oh, there's already somebody two waiting. We had a steady run here. We knew it was one o'clock arrival. Got here at 25 past 12 and there's two in front of us one behind us i don't think anybody likes this one o'clock arrival even we don't like it uh, seems to be the norm now for caravan club altering it all to one o'clock arrival whereas it, you know most of them used to be 12 o'clock which were which were just right actually in fact there's another pulling up now behind blocking the road um looks like we might have to sit here and wait a bit longer. It's now 12.33. Right, here we go. Right, we've come through the barrier, bare left. Along here and then we've got to take a right turn here. So any of these along here? This is the view from our caravan. This is the fully serviced pitch area. Let's have a look at this site map. Here's the entrance off the road, reception to the right. There's one facility block and the chemical toilet emptying point is within the building itself. There's a bike and dog wash. There are 108 pitchers and 16 of them are fully serviced in this area. And the black one is a serviced without awning. The dog walk is actually on the outside of the site. You go through a gate next to the play area it's got a code on it turn right and you go around the outside perimeter of the site and back round to reception here's the reverse of the map showing the new parking guide which we haven't come across before they've introduced a new two peg system where you pitch your caravan or motorhome anywhere in between the two pegs and this satisfies fire regulations. So here we are, 
Sutton on Sea is just outside the red heat weather warning zone that's been issued for the much of England. Uh, so for the next couple of days we're going to have the hottest temperatures ever recorded. Maximum temperature for us today at Sutton on Sea is going to be 34 degrees so it's a good job we've got some ice cream in the freezer. Some folk have been sat out in the sun but we're not hot weather people. We're just going to take it easy for the next couple of days and stay put. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get out later in the week and do some exploring. I'm all ready for this. Ice cream with a chopped up gluten free salted caramel bliss bar. Mm. Well that's it for today's vlog. We're going to go outside in the shade with a cool drink and do some reading. Um, but what I will point out is I've never seen so many caravans and motorhomes arrive in one go today. So the hot weather isn't putting anybody off. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning. It was a beautiful sunset last night. I had a nice breeze. And as you know, caravans cool down through the night and we had a decent night's sleep. And it was the hottest night on record. And uh, today we're going to stay put because it's given the hottest day on record here at Sutton on Sea up to 36. Uh, it's breezy again, uh, but we're going to stay put and we keep shuffling as chairs around to dodge the sun. Around three years ago, I fitted the genuine Thetford fridge ventilator kit and I did a video showing me fitting it and then I did a second one showing sound levels. So I'll put links at the end of this video on them. Um, it was only yesterday I noticed uh, when I opened the fridge, I noticed a noise and I thought, oh, I wonder if that's the fridge vent running. So I went outside and it was. So uh, it's obviously because the fridge side of the caravan is facing the direct sunlight I took a couple of video clips and I'll show you them now. I only noticed the fridge vent running when I opened the fridge. You can hardly hear it now. But if I open the fridge. You might be able to hear it there. And I've got it on cooling level three. There. You just about hear that running. Let's have a look. Yeah, the fan's running, look. Let's have another look. The fan stopped running. So this means the ventilator has sufficiently reduced the temperature of the refrigerant so the thermo switch has switched the uh, ventilator off. So when the refrigerant temperature rises again, the thermo switch will switch the ventilator back on. So even in these extreme heat conditions, it just shows you uh, a fan doesn't need to run continuously. Alfresco lunch. <coughs> so it's the end of day two, 7.30 in the evening. Uh, still very warm out there. Uh, we should be all right tonight it's give a cooler day tomorrow thank goodness over these past two days we've watched people sunbathing and getting redder and redder and we've seen people off on the bicycles in this baking heat our neighbor's been out golfing all day uh, he's been the only one on the golf course apparently uh, but we've sat tight and uh, barely moved all day gail's been reading a book texting for england chatting on her phone well me i've been a bit bored uh, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow uh, getting out and about. Um, well, while we've been sat here, uh, we've noticed pitch etiquette, or the lack of it, rather. Um, maybe at the time of booking in, the wardens should uh, ask people to respect other people's pitch space. Well, anyway, uh, in the morning, I'll show you around site before we head off to Mablethorpe for a seaside fish and chips and ice cream. Well, you know me. I'll see you tomorrow. It's a new day, 23 degrees today, and we're going to have a look around site. That's the way in. That's the information cabin. And you can get your fish and chips and ice cream at reception. You can even hire a bike here. 
these eight pitches here running up to the facility block are these here look that's the way into the serviced area and you have to follow the one-way road to the rest of the site there's a few grass pitches nicely set back here on their own in a better position the service ones we're stood here at the moment exit from the service pitches and you'll be able to see down this road nice and breezy today we're stood here and down this road is the play area and entrance to the dog walk there's the gate to the dog walk you do need your code to get through there's the play area and there are two lovely grass pitches here This is where the path comes out from the children's play area right next to the site entrance and this view are these pictures here looking down there we're now stood here and you'll be able to see these grass pictures running down this hedge and then the facility block another lovely area of grass pitches here and then there are more over the other side of the hedge and finally we're stood here and we're looking down towards the facility block And back at our caravan, we're on pitch 85, usual service setup. I've had to lift the aerial to get all the stations, mobile phone signals very good, and we're backing onto the facility block. Overall it's a very nice site, uh, especially the grass pitch is the better position than most of the others. So anyway, we're going to have breakfast and then we're off to Mablethorpe, so we'll see you there. We'd normally walk into Mablethorpe, but on this occasion we thought we'll go in the car, it's 4.2 miles. I'll show you on the sat-nav. 4.2 miles to, well it's to taking us to Victoria, Victoria Road, where we've parked before. Here we are at Mablethorpe. Skin's so soft, it's not working. You don't like it. Donkeys over there. You can see the end of the promenade over there. And then miles of golden sand. If you want to bring your dog on the beach, here's the dog free zones and dog exercise areas. Mm. 
This is the main street coming up to the beach. Little fairground here. Mind we run on that. There's one person on it. There are lots of eating places along the promenade. Fish and chips, ice cream, donuts. Ooh, look at this golden sand all the way back to Sutton on Sea. Promenade carries on back to Sutton on Sea. You can see all the lamp posts. A few colourful beach shots. can hire your beach huts here but it does say no half day bookings the at the far end of the promenade behind the beach huts are uh, a pitch and put, miniature railway, bowling green, paddling pool, cafe and a boating lake and geese This will be for kiddies. Fish and chip time ready for some rain. Look at it. Gluten-free fish and chips from St. Anne's Chip Shop. Are they alright? Yeah. What size are those fishes? <laughs> what do you think? It's nice, yeah. <laughs> Across from St Anne's Fish and Chip Shop is this caravan and camping accessories shop. These are opening times. Here's a glass from the past. I've got a Biscoff Mr Whippy. And this is a, what's this, a Swedish? Gloom free glaze. Yeah, it's all we could get. Out at freezer. Out at freezer, but Mr. Whippy. So, this is my gluten free cone. It's got soft toffee and caramel sauce running through it, and it goes all the way down to the bottom of the cone. So, yeah, it's quite nice. <laughs> we got them from Little Cow Ice Cream Shop. Some Mabel Thorpe Hall art. Cup of tea, Robert. What do you want, a Nero? I need a Nero. Well, I don't like tea out of a flask, so it'll have to be a Nero. A Nero. Our drive into Mablethorpe took us down Crabtree Lane to the A52, turn left, and we followed the A52 all the way through Trustthorpe and into the centre of Mablethorpe. We turned left and we stayed in this short stay car park on this corner. Uh, the maximum stay there is four hours and, and we paid the, the three pound to stay four hours. It's our last day, um, we're going to walk to Sutton-on-Sea, uh, 
at the site entrance, turn right, down to the A52, turn left, second right, and that'll take us to Sutton Beach. And that's about a mile. That's around 20 minute walk. So we'll see you there. That's it, 20 minutes to get to the promenade. That way is Sandhurst Promenade and we're going to go that way to Sutton-on-Sea Town Centre. If you want to escape the hustle and bustle of Mablethorpe and you want a bit of peace and tranquility on the beach, then this is the place to be. And Sutton on Sea Town Centre is just around that corner. The dunes are Gail's favourite part of the beach. This is Sutton on Sea Beach Dog Zones. These are the sand dunes. That's the main street behind me, that's Kiddies Paddling Pool and that's the main ramp up to the promenade. That's the main street, there's not a lot down there but there are one or two independent shops and there's your little car park. Colour the water. This is Sutton on Sea Promenade, and that way is Mablethorpe. This is just up from the paddling pool and reading this board it looks like there's improvements coming to Sutton on Sea and this is the vision. Look at this, this is how it looked in the 50s. There's another board here. I wonder with the redevelopment whether they'll move this somewhere else or keep it here. We're past this circus on the side of the A52 coming back from Mablethorpe. Oh, 
we're taking a break in this lovely little Merrydale community garden. I got my chips from Dolphin Fish Bar. We thought it were gluten-free friendly, but they, they do gluten-free battered fish, but they fry it in the same oil as everything else. So that's contamination. So Gail can't have anything at all. She's brought no lunch, can't even have the chips. Uh, but we'll see if we can get an ice cream later with a gluten-free cone. Well, got last ice cream of the holiday. Uh, Gail's got her Swedish glaze gluten-free. At least she's not gone without. Last seaside holiday for this year, isn't it? Yeah. For our stay at Sutton on Sea, I've used OS Explorer Map 283. The caravan site's here. It's not shown because this is an earlier map. To walk to Sutton on Sea, we went down Crabtree Lane to the A52, turn left, then took the second right down to this bend and then bear left along this private road which is a public right of way to the end of the road turn right and then you're on the promenade that's approximately a mile 20 minutes walk and then walk down the promenade to the town centre and that's approximately another mile so that's another 20 minutes Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed watching us enjoy our holiday and I hope to see you again soon.